I'm Ty West, this is Trailers from Hell, and I'm gonna be talking about Habit, um, a movie that selfishly has a tremendous amount of importance to me. Um, I seem to tend to selfishly do that a lot when I'm here, but it's the only way I know how to sort of like excitedly speak about something. And this movie is entirely the reason I have a career. Um, the guy who made the movie, Larry Fessenden, uh, I had seen this movie, I just rented it from the video store when I was in high school, and then I went to college and moved to New York City, and I met a woman there named Kelly Reichard, and she had done a movie called River of Grass that Larry Fessenden had produced and acted in, and she mentioned his name, and I had seen Habit. And I was the only one, she taught a class at my school, and she, I was the only one in the class that had seen the movie. And I liked the movie, and she was like, well, I'll bring him in to talk. And I was obsessed with that idea because this was really exciting to me. This was like a real filmmaker I was going to get to meet. And she never did it. Um, and I would bug her every week, like, when are you going to bring him in? When are you? And she eventually was like, dude, nobody cares. Here's his phone number. So I called him and I met him. And, you know, we got along very well. And years later, he ended up being the first person. He gave me money to make a movie, which was my first movie uh, called The Roost. And then we went on to so make movies after that for several years. And he's... It's, he's still he's in the movie I just finished like last week. So he's a tremendous part of my life. Um, and it stems from this movie and it's he's the reason I have a career and it's all because I happen to see this movie habit. Um, so it's a very unique movie and I'm excited to tell you why I think it's unique. But I also think there's something to be said about how much a movie can actually change someone's life in a way you're unex I, it never occurred to me when I watched the movie that that would be the guy that I would meet that would be like, I will give you money to make a movie. Um, and that's amazing. And so this is Habit. Glass Eye Picks, bringing you fierce independent cinema since 1985. So this is Habit by Larry Fessenden, which is a vampire film, or is it? And I think those are always the best kind of horror movies when you're not sure if it's truly the horror movie or if it's a movie about the horrors that are happening to somebody and perhaps what's going on in their head. This is one of the most unique vampire films made in a time when independent cinema was booming in the 1990s. So it really kind of fits into a series of esoteric categories that I particularly enjoy. It, it's sort of, it's existing in a time, it's in the 90s when sort of indie movies were cool, which is great, but he's promoting his own company, Glass Eye Picks here, which is important to him, but is not relevant in the grand scheme of things. And what I love about this trailer is that he's doing the voiceover, his band is playing the music, he's quoting quotes about his own movie, and he's doing it in like a movie voice, in that he's so much involved not only in the movie, but he's involved in the promotion of the movie. And the promotion of the movie, this trailer for instance, is an extension of the movie. And that's what I most love about independent cinema, is that there's this dude that wrote, directed, edited, and starred in a movie that he made like on a shoestring budget, and is now pretending to be the guy releasing the movie, to like camouflage his voice in a way or to sort of stylize his voice in a way that you're accustomed to. So he's sort of like approaching all of the classic movie genre elements, but he's also referencing like Amy Taubin of The Village Voice and like this highbrow criticism. And he's sort of acknowledging the importance of that. And also it's a genre film. And now he's referencing his other movies that for all intents and purposes, probably no one seen the trailer had seen to give it credibility. And what that's doing is it's creating an entire universe around the movie to make the movie feel like something special and to make something feel like truly independent. A term he used to always use was fiercely independent, which I always liked. And Larry used to always say to me when I met him that we're making B movies with A ideas. And I think that's very much what Habit is. And it's a, it's a movie made, you know, with the spirit of independent cinema, which is rarer and rarer these days. Um, and I highly recommend anyone, if you get a chance, to go take a look at it.